Hi, my name is Marcus. Welcome to part 8 out of 8 in our Seed Basics video series for aspiring intraday traders. In this video, you will learn how proper money management can not only minimize your risk, but also maximize the growth of your trading account. Let's get to it. Welcome to Unit 042 on Money Management Basics. In this unit, you will learn how to use a fractional Kelly approach to maximize the growth of your trade equity and minimize the risk of blowing up your trading account at the same time by using optimal position sizing. The first question we need to answer is how to measure the overall viability of a strategy. If we have a sufficiently large number of trades, we can calculate the expectancy ratio, which indicates the profitability of a strategy and the expected average return of the next trade. A positive number after subtracting transaction costs indicates that the strategy is profitable. The required inputs for these calculations are the average win and average loss trade and the target win rate. Target in this context refers to a pre-trade estimate if we don't have any historical trade data. The average win trade is simply the sum of positive trades divided by the number of positive trades. The average loss trade is equal to the sum of negative trades divided by the number of negative trades. The other required input is the win rate which is the ratio of positive to negative trades. A win rate of 60% for example means that 60 out of 100 trades are positive and 40 are negative. The formula for the expectancy ratio is the probability of a win trade times the average win minus the probability of a loss trade times the average loss. In our example, the expected return is 120. Trading this strategy is expected to be profitable and should be traded until proven otherwise. Note that the expectancy does not give us any information about the particular sequence of positive and negative trades in which they occurred. It also doesn't give us any information on optimal position sizing or volatility. What would happen to our account balance if we had a series of 3, 6 or 10 negative trades in a row? We need a way to account for the uncertainty of the sequence of returns so that we can continue to trade our strategy through a period of drawdowns. Using a fixed percentage approach, such as risking 1 or 2% of account equity per trade, is a commonly used approach. We can take this approach a step further and use optimal position sizing according to the Kelly criterion. Although its primary objective is to maximize account growth, it is useful for setting an optimal percentage amount of risk per trade given your account balance. The required inputs for calculating the Kelly percentage are the target win rate, the target reward over risk ratio, and the account size. The reward over risk ratio is the ratio of the average win per trade to the average loss per trade. It is also called risk multiple or R multiple. If your average win trade is $300 and your average loss trade is 150 then you have a reward over risk ratio of 2 to 1 or an R multiple of 2. The red line represents a reward over risk of 1. Values in the green zone have a risk multiple of greater than 1 and in the orange zone of less than 1. The formula for the Kelly percentage is the win probability minus 1 minus the win probability divided by the reward over risk ratio. 
the Kelly formula has some limitations that we need to consider. First of all, it assumes that the win rate and the reward over risk will be the same going forward. The problem here is that this is unrealistic in a non-stationary market environment in which the sequence and magnitude of positive and negative trades is uncertain. We need to adjust for this uncertainty by using a fractional percentage approach to minimize the risk of ruin. Let's look at some sample calculations in Excel to see how we could integrate the Kelly percentage into our own trading strategies. This Kelly criterion calculator illustrates the relationship between risk and position size given a certain account balance. We can input our starting balance of 10,000 and select between stocks, cryptocurrencies or futures. The expectancy of the default settings is zero, which means that our edge is zero and we should not risk any money on such a strategy. Entering values in the product input cells calculates the fractional Kelly percentage for the selected product. Let's put 200 as the average win. The 1 tenth Kelly suggests risking 2.5% given our current edge and a position size of 2.5 contracts. Let's assume that our reward over risk is actually 3 to 1 and see how it affects the output values. We can see that we should increase risk and position size. This relationship supports the idea of increasing risk the bigger our edge is. If we enter a win rate of 40%, we expect the risk percentage to drop due to our decreased edge expressed by the lower expectancy. The percentage drops to 2% and the position size drops to two contracts in this case. How would a change in absolute win and loss change the suggested position size? Increasing the range between average win and loss widens the range of the distribution and therefore also its standard deviation. Common sense would tell us that a riskier strategy should be traded with a smaller position size. Although the combination of 450 to 150 has the same reward over risk, the suggested position size is 1.3 contracts now. This illustrates the sensitivity of position size to the average loss value. The average loss value also serves as a proxy for setting stop loss values in terms of ticks or dollar amounts. Increasing the account balance to 15,000 brings the suggested size back to two contracts. Applying a fixed Kelly fraction, such as 1 tenth or 10% 10 Kelly, can serve as a guideline of what percentage of your account balance to risk, given your historical or estimated distribution of trades and your account size. This variable is independent of your account balance though. It only depends on the edge of your strategy, which means that you should only increase the percentage risk per trade if your edge has increased and decrease it as your edge approaches zero. We can also simulate outcomes for stocks or cryptocurrencies by changing the respective input values. Let's select Apple from the drop-down menu and enter average win of 200, average loss of 125 and a win rate of 55%. The suggested share size at the 10% Kelly level is 323 shares. Let's enter some values for Bitcoin. Average win of 250, win rate of 48% results in 4.1 Bitcoin as the unit size. You can also use this tool to determine whether your account balance is sufficient to trade any other particular product or contract given your edge. 
In the next slide, we will recap the methods on how to improve the performance of a strategy from a risk perspective and how to create an edge will be the main topic in module 06 on algo order flow strategies. How can we improve strategy performance? As we go through the list of available methods, think about whether or not each method is under the trader's immediate control. To increase strategy performance, we could increase the accuracy to a higher win rate, increase the average win trade, reduce the amount of money risked on each trade, move the stop to break even, use dynamic stops based on objective criteria, or scale out of losing trades. Increasing accuracy and average win trade are goals to strive for, but they're not really under our control. On the other hand, we can reduce the amount of risk by setting stops, move stops to break even, use dynamic stops based on objective criteria, and we can scale out of losing trades. In this unit, you learned how to use a fractional Kelly approach to maximize the growth of your trade equity and minimize the risk of blowing up your account at the same time by using optimal position size. The key takeaways are that calculating expectancy is an easy way to evaluate the viability of a strategy and that the fractional Kelly approach facilitates risk-adjusted position sizing to maximize account growth. You can complete the unit assignment now and then update the corresponding sections of your trading plan. Congratulations! You've completed the basic course modules. In the advanced course modules, you will learn how different trader types compete with each other in 05 market ecosystem analysis and then develop a trading approach to exploit algorithmic order flow in 06 algo order flow strategies. If you find the contents of this video helpful, please hit the like button below and also subscribe to our channel. You can also visit us at ctrading.com to find out how you can improve your trading even more. See you there.